Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna and today we are going to talk about satins and I'm going to show you this look that I create with the Bloodlust palette by Jeffree Star Cosmetics. Now before we start, please make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and if you want to, go follow me on Instagram. I post a lot of dupes there and makeup inspiration and pictures of palettes and if you want a bit more content then go check it out. And now let's hop right into the tutorial. So today I wanted to talk about satins with you because I hated satins in the past. So I like them now for what they are and I feel like I just discovered what they are meant for. So I'm going to show you what I mean during application. And I'm starting with the color Betrayal. This is one of the two satins in this palette and it's a nice warm purple color. And I'm using my Morphe JH38 brush for it. I discovered that I really like this kind of brush for applying satin. So I'm just picking up the color like it is. I don't wet my brush and I'm just applying this color all over my lid. And that's the point. I discovered that satins are best used for an one eyeshadow look where you only want to apply one color and you're good to go. So it's for an easy application, it's for a fast application. That's the time when I reach for satins now. So when I have to go to work, I don't have a lot of time or maybe it's good for moms that don't have a lot of time in the morning when they want to get ready and you know, I'm not a mom, but for this kind of occasions where you just want to have a quick look, but you want to look like you have done something and you want to have some color there on your eyes. So that's the moment when I reach for a satin. And at first I'm going to apply the color all over the lid and I use this brush for creating the shape that I want to have. And then I'm going to apply the color also with my finger on top of what we laid down for with the brush, just to give it a bit more opacity and more intensity and just to make it a bit more metallic. I mean, a satin isn't a metallic, but you know what I mean. It has this soft sheen and when you apply it with the finger, you can see the sheen a bit better than with the brush. Now I want to blend out the edges a bit more, so I'm going in with one powder eyeshadow. I'm using the color High King. It's the exact same color as Betrayal, but only in a matte form. So it's perfect, they fit perfectly well together. So I'm going in with my Sigma E42 blending brush and I'm taking a bit of High King and I'm blending over the edges. Now I want to brighten up my inner corner a bit so I'm going in with the color Beauty Sleep on my Morphe M213 brush and I have used this color in the first look that I created with this palette. I will link the video down below where I use this color more and it's a beautiful very light lavender color that shifts to a gold so it's very beautiful on the inner corner. Sometimes it's a bit too dark for me but it depends on the look that I'm creating. So for this look because the purple is a bit more mid-toned I can get away with this one on my inner corner. So next I'm going in with the color Bleeding Heart which is the red color and it's also satin and when the palette was revealed I first thought that this one is going to be a matte color and then after seeing some swatches I thought it would be a metallic shadow but it's a satin. So I think it's a bit of a letdown if you have expected a bit more of an, I don't know, foiled metallic red color or if you have expected a very bright matte red color um i don't know i wasn't very happy when i have discovered it but i think it has its own quality to it so you have just to decide if you like satins or not so i'm going in with this color on my lower lash line now and i'm using the same brush like before it's the jh38 brush from morphe and I'm very softly blending this color onto my lower lash line. And that's the second thing where I like to use satins. I love to wear them on my lower lash line because I like when the lower lash line has a bit of a sheen 
but when it's not too metallic and not too intense especially when I want to create a more easy look a more work appropriate or everyday look then sometimes a metallic on my lower lash line would be a bit too much for me so I think a satin is a nice in between and I feel the same way for the upper lid so when you just want to have a tiny bit of sheen but not a full on metallic that's when it's the best time to use a satin for. So now I'm going to show you a way to spice up a look like this. I'm going in with the color wet jewel on my finger and that's basically a glitter top coat. So it's not an opaque shadow in any way. It's just a light pink glitter shadow and you can top other shadows with it. So I'm going to apply this color directly to the middle of my lid and create a little halo moment there. And if you have hooded eyes, then I would recommend applying this color a little bit higher up above your crease and don't stop at the crease. So if you don't have hooded eyes, I would recommend stopping at your crease. And if you have hooded eyes, then apply the color above your crease so you can still see the color when your eyes open. Because this way it will open up your eyes and they will appear a bit bigger and just appear like your crease is a bit higher up. And I'm also going to apply this color in the center of my lower lash line and I'm using my Morphe M213 brush for it. So now I'm going to apply some mascara off camera and I'll be right back. Now here you can see the finished look and I think it looks really really cool. I like the color combination. I think that the shadow wet jewel added so much to this look. I'm so happy that I applied it on top of the other shadows because now it has really a lot of dimension and I hope that you found this video helpful and that you liked it. Let me know down below if you like satins because I have talked so much about them in this video and let me know down below if you like videos like this where I talk about I don't know a special formula or how to apply it and just let me know down below what you think about it and Thank you all so, so much for watching. I wish you all a wonderful day.